hello folks this is nitin welcoming you to the ai uh, university channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning deep learning ai big data hadoop virtual reality and cloud computing in this video i'm going to show you uh, how to predict the captions using our model when we provide an absolutely fresh image to it this is the final video of this project and uh, as explained in the introductory video you can develop a flask web app as front end and image caption model as back end to see the predicted results uh, in the browser just like captionbot.ai was showing okay so if you want uh, to learn how to showcase uh, machine and deep learning predictions on web browser or web app uh, using a web web browser then you can watch uh, the sentiment analysis web app project series a uh, link of uh, which actually is given in the i button above so folks stay connected till the end to acquire this useful knowledge and if you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century So let's move on to the uh, code now. Uh, let me open my Jupyter notebook real quick. So here is my Jupyter notebook. Uh, uh, first, uh, if you see here, um, I'm importing all the necessary libraries which I have already explained in the, uh, you know, previous uh, videos, right? And next, I'm using this extract features function to extract the image features of a given fresh image using VGG16 model. I have explained this function as well in the previous videos. So you can uh, refer the previous previous videos to learn about that. Next, I'm loading uh, the saved uh, tokenizer here. So let me scroll down a bit. Okay, so this is the saved tokenizer. Uh, uh, pickled file to retrieve the word tokens right and next I am uh, basically defining the maximum length as 34 here which is the maximum length of the description then we are loading uh, our saved image caption model here okay which is model 18.5 and next I utilized uh, extract feature function here right right so I'm utilizing this uh, function um, to extract the features of the image uh, which will be provided by the user as an input uh, okay and I actually utilized this particular image uh, which is this one so this sample image dot jpg is nothing but this image as you can see the title here as well right so this is the image which is shown on the screen okay which I provided as an input to this extract features function okay then i used generate a disk or description function to generate the captions from this image and well uh, when i ran this uh, cell i got the output as man rides bike on a dirt path and which is actually prefixed by its start sequence and suffix by end sequence okay and as you can see, uh, this is our image and the prediction says man rides bike on dirt path, right? So which is uh, which is actually very close prediction to the image we have seen here, right? So our model is predicting the captions really well. Isn't it awesome? Right. And you can very well relate it with the caption bot dot AI. Uh, where we provided our own input image and it generated the caption. So you can see that we provided the image as input and it generated the caption as output. In the next cell, I am, uh, you know, I just removed these start sequence and end sequence tokens uh, to just get the right uh, caption, only this part of the caption, right? So for that, I defined the stop words here as a start sequence and add and sequence and kept them in in the list which is here okay as you can see here later on i split the entire predicted sequence here okay so this description is nothing but this query so i just uh, you know 
split the entire predicted sequence or description using dot split function and then extracted all the uh, words which are not in the stop words as you can see here right i also converted the entire string into lower case as you can see here so i'm just you know making them into lower case all the generated words or token and lastly i joined all the words as a complete uh, string using this dot join function or method okay so folks uh, you can uh, give a try uh, in fact you can try giving another image as an, as an input to see how this model predicts caption for it i will be sharing the jupyter notebook for the entire code on my github page link of which is given in the description as well as highlighted at the end of the video so folks this is it for this video to conclude we saw how our image caption uh, model uh, predicted the captions for a given fresh image so let me ask you a question from today's uh, video how much did you like this entire image caption project series please post your comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section i will be glad to answer your questions if you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button and in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you